We are Highland Park Edison at Part 15 Station. It's 6 o'clock. It's Gordon the morning. We commence the Tuesday Mission Goss here, and uh, we want to go right to the phone here, actually to the Skype this morning, and uh, we're going to Eric Cicero. We're going to introduce you. We talked about this a little bit last week. They're going to have her on this week. The lady's name is Miriam Jeskerowitz Arman, and uh, she's in Sfas in Eric No, in, in Tavaria, right near Sfas in Eric Cicero. And uh, I don't know if she could hear you. Uh, Miriam, good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, she's not hearing me, so uh, this is good to go. Okay, we'll uh, do this this way. We'll go like that. We'll go like this, and we'll go to the phone here. This morning. I have to take this off the year and go to the phone. That's how we're going to do this. Oh, the phone went away, too. Lovely. <laughs> we're off to a great start here. So i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play a song like we always do to start the program. Then we're going to speak to Mrs. Uh, Jasquitz. <laughs> We'll establish Cobb here in just a second from 1640 WJPR. Fun all morning music all day, 1640 WJPR, 1640 WJPR.com, smartphone, iPhone. If you possess one, you can download a free application called TuneIn Radio. You can hear us anywhere around the world, which is a great, great thing. And it's a beautiful turquoise. It's got a program schedule on there. There's another way you can hear us around the world. So on a site called CXRadios.com, which is a direct link to our website, 1640WJPR.com. I appreciate you tuning in no matter where you are. It's 6.03, three minutes after 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's Gordon the Morning. We'll try to do this correctly now. Yeah, the, the spike, the sky. Skype was not working correctly. I mean, it was, I was hearing Mrs. Jaskowitz Armin on the air live, but she wasn't hearing us. So that's a, a that's an IT issue that we're going to get resolved at this point. Right now, I want to say good morning to the lady that we talked about this last week, and her name is Miriam Jaskowitz Armin, and she uh, wrote this uh, book that's called Revealed, The Secret Codes of the Voice of the Zohar. And uh, good morning, Mrs. Uh, Armin. Good morning, Al. How are you? Thank you very much for this invitation. I'm delighted to be here. Baruch Hashem, it's good to have you on the radio. And now I'm not, I know I know you're hearing me now on the phone. It's just something. It was a, there was a Skype issue as far as the uh, you hearing me, but you were going over the air perfectly. So. <laughs> Thank you. Lines in Israel are really excellent. I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so tell, tell me about what you do and what, you, what, you, what your background and, your, and, and the new book that you have out and uh, the listeners can hear about that, what's going on with this. Well, the, uh, the Revealed, the Code of the Zohar is the fifth book in the series of The Voice, A Spiritual Approach to Singing, Speaking, and Communicating. I've been in the quote unquote business of voice vocal reconstruction vocal development and the company I have in Israel uh, which I've had for many many years but only five years in Israel since I lived here only five years 
It's called the International Institute of Voice Development Israel. So people come here from all over the world, basically, and they learn the technique of the Levite. Because in the four books that were published before, the last book is called The Voice of Spiritual Approach to Singing, Speaking, and Communicating the Kabbalah of the Voice. And in that book, I already reveal many, many, many things that I learned over the years and through studying Torah and Zohar. And when this book finally was born, um, basically, it's the most precise and comprehensive work because everything that I'm teaching and have been teaching for the past 35 years all over the world is basically the work of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the author of the Zohar, the author of Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that until a friend gave me a copy of the Soncino version of the English Zohar, and I started to read, and I completely, I, I, I completely lost it because I read my own words and my own concepts that I thought, with Hashem's help, you know, over the past 35 years, I constructed, and I see everything already written inside the Zohar. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is how this was born. And the book that is that just came out four weeks ago is basically a conversation between Rabbi Shimon and me. I will take an excerpt directly out of the Zohar, exactly the translation, exactly his words, and then take my work and spin that and weave that into the tapestry of his work and his ideas. And the work itself is, is you know, I, I look at it and I just, I, I really, really am in awe of what Hashem has me do in this world. Yeah, that's incredible, incredible. That's incredible stuff. And uh, you're, go you're going to be here giving classes in the, in the United States very soon? Well, I'm working on a number of things. I'm, I'm trying to set up something in New York, something in Miami, and maybe something out west. I mean, there, there is a, it, it's a difficult situation because I have students all over the world. And basically, we have to find a central place where everybody will come in the state. Now I teach cantors, I teach rabbis, and for them I will do a special kind of master class that is only for men. Uh -huh. When I teach men, I don't sing, obvious, that's, that's right. obvious. But uh, in normal master classes, what I normally do is I divide men from women, and then when we get into the technical aspect, into the actual doing of what we learn in the master class, then women are separated from the men. Even if it's even if it's clearly, even if it's not a religious group. Right. Okay, understood. Uh, now, uh, if people want to get more information. They can go to you. Got like three different websites they could look at, right? Well, basically, the most important website for everything that has to do with the academy is www.voiceinstitute.org.il. That's for anything and everything that has to do with the voice, that has to do with the apprentice program. I'm desperately trying to teach teachers. Uh, the biggest problem I have is that basically I'm the only one in the world who does this, who mm -hmm. teaches this. There is nobody else who wants to learn this because once they come and they want to learn it, they want to sing. That's it. And singing and teaching doesn't go together. You can either be one or the other. You can't be both. 
So everybody wants to sing, so they wind up to be singers, and there are no teachers. So, yeah. what you were saying? Yeah. I mean, the, mo the, most important, the most important website is the Voice Institute. Dot org dot il. There is also another one it's called musicvisions.org.il dot il where there is a conglomeration of all of my books. There are Bok Hashem ten now. And um, basically there is another one which is just my art. Uh, I have a very large uh, international Art curriculum, which is Miriam Yaskirovich Arman Fine Art dot com. Basically, one 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 website will bring you into into another site. So if you don't remember or can't spell the last right. name, it's not a problem. Well, I had enough time pronounce, pronouncing that middle name, so. <laughs> but that, uh, it says you must speak a bunch of languages here, according to what I see here, right? I. Speak six of them perfectly, and one of them. Basically, I need to go back to Russia for three months, and then I'll speak that as well. <laughs> I have enough modern Hebrew gives me enough tough problem as it is. I mean, I speak Yiddish, so and less than a Kurdish, of course. But the, modern Hebrew, like, sometimes it's too fast. I got to sit and listen sometimes. It, Hebrew is not is not very difficult. It all depends on the attitude, and once you learn voice with me. That attitude changes, and your head opens up, and then languages become quite simple. Accents go away, yeah. and it changes completely. Yeah, I grew, I grew up in Miami, and I learned Spanish at an early age, and Spanish was easy. When I had to learn Hebrew, it, it was more difficult. Let's put with the grammar and everything like that, but yeah, you could put it together and make it sound good. Right, we have to take a little break for a commercial. We'll come back in just a couple of seconds. We'll talk with Miriam... I want to pronounce the middle name Jaskovowitz Arman. Yes. <laughs> uh, the, the J is like a Y. Yeah, yes, okay, it's like a Y, right? Yes. Okay, we'll come back in a second. It's 612 on 1640 WJPR. Rain likely today, high 52. Tonight, cloudy skies with showers, 47. Tomorrow, cloudy with periods of rain, 57. Half an inch by the time said and done. Rain chances 90% today, 60 tonight, and 90% tomorrow. And it's 45 degrees right now at Highland Park. This is the Classic Artist Spotlight. Join us every Sunday night at 8 for Classic Artist Spotlight, right here on 1640 WJPR. We'll highlight artists from the 1970s the black, the and the 1980s. It's the right thing to do. Classic Artist Spotlight, every Sunday night at 8 on 1640 WJPR. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rating number one by consumers nationwide on ConsumerAffairs.com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, nighttime I'm heartburn, mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-371-9608. That's 1-800-371-9608. Call 1-800-371-9608. Call now. It's 6.14 Eastern Standard Time here on 1640 WJPR Jewish Highland Park. And it's Gordon Gordon. the morning. We are speaking this morning with uh, a lady from, uh, from Tavaria, and Eric Cicero, Miriam Yaskarovitz Arman. I hope I said it right this time. Did I? <laughs> It'll, it, it, it takes me time, but that's okay. All right, anything else you want to add to what we've been talking about this morning, what's coming up, what you're going to be doing, whatnot? Well, I think it's important to talk about 
what this actually is and why it's so different than what other people are teaching. Okay. I think it's important to understand why this has to actually come out of the Zohar. And it has to come from a very high spiritual source because the way the voice is, it is a spiritual element. It's not just, you know, you open up and you speak. There is much, much more involved. People have no idea what it takes to actually sing, what it takes to actually speak, and what kind of an intricate instrument the voice is and that it's something that you have to learn. You can't just take a child at the age of 8, 9, 10 years old who professes that he can sing and everybody says, wow, you're absolutely great, and put him on stage and make him do all kinds of gyrations with the voice and then all of a sudden when he's 13, 14, 15, the voice is gone. Yeah. Oh, well, the voice Change, da, 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 da. Problematic. No, it's not. It's because the voice is not set to begin with in the right place. Now, the Levian, the Levite, knew and learned what to do and how to do it. And at the age of 25, they went into the base of Migdash. And at the age of 50, they had to leave. And Rabbi Shimon says they had to leave because their fire did not burn anymore. Mm. Well, what does that mean? That means that their personality didn't do and their workmanship was not anymore what was allowed for praying, what was allowed to be listened to by Hashem. Hashem has very, very definite ideas of what He wants from the voice, where He wants that to be, and where He wants it to go. Right. And hmm. our voices, where they are praying and davening today, do not reach that place. And Rabbi Shimon says, that at the age of 50, when you stop the fire, when you're not burning hot anymore like you were at 25, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with the voice. That voice, he says, should be growing way, way, way after that until the day you die. But you yourself are not doing the work anymore. You think now that you've got it, You've got it. So you can go and you can sing and you can do shows. And very slowly you begin losing that fire. And then you sing with a voice that isn't so fiery. And then you sing with a voice that's even less fiery. And then you begin to wobble. And then you begin to quack and you begin to break. And then you... Like, and then like, you like, like, like an old disc jockey's voice like mine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is fascinating yeah. stuff and I'm sure we can go on and on and talk more we'll have to have you back for part two again to speak about this where can people get the latest book how can they get a hold of it the latest book you just go into my website and it brings you to Amazon or you go straight into Amazon.com and you put in my name or you put in the secret code of the voice in the Zohar and it'll bring you right there, and then you can order it. Very it's nice. on it's on prime rate, so it takes two or three days to get there. But um, everything is on Amazon. There are videos. There is a master class of four and a half hours where I'm teaching at the Kebel David in Yerushalayim, at David's uh, tomb in Jerusalem. And then there is another one in Hebrew, where I'm teaching the same material in Hebrew from the Teatron HaSimta in Yafo, uh, that is also available as a video. Then there is a CD. I mean, basically everything is on Amazon. 
It's fascinating stuff. Miriam Yaskerowitz, Armin, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy teaching schedule this morning to come on with us. And we're going to have to have you back for part two. And when you come to the I, States, we're going to have you on live, maybe. Thank you. Thank you so much, Al. It was a pleasure being with you, and I'm looking forward to our second meeting. That sounds like a, that sounds like a plan to us. Have a great day in uh, Koltuv and Tiveri and Eretz Yisrael. Thank you so much for coming on this thank morning. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. At 620 on 1640 WJPR, Jewish Highland Park. Editor, it's Miriam S. Kerwitz, Armand with us this morning, talking about her new book and www.voiceinstitute.org.il for more information. As you get in touch with her, she will respond to you in kind. Right, Dave's going to come up with the latest news in just a few minutes here on 1640. Good morning. <laughs> על מה שקרה לתא השנייה, הבנתי אין כאן דרך אז...